Uh, this is Jared Dees from the religionteacher.com. Catholic indulgences, yes, they still exist. What are they? What do they mean? What do they do? Well, let's look at the two consequences of sin. A sin causes us to be separated from God. And a grave sin makes that separation so great that we, after we die, are suffering eternal punishment in hell as separation from God. That's what hell is. But in addition to that separation, there is also a need for a punishment. Because when we sin, we are attached to something of this world. And that attachment can be undone by the punishment. That's why we have punishments for crimes, to take away that attachment to the wrongdoing. And that punishment can be served here in the world, but after our death in purgatory. The purpose of purgatory is that temporal punishment before going to heaven. Everyone who is in purgatory is going to go to heaven. So the punishment isn't about our salvation. That's already earned by Jesus Christ. This separation from God, what undoes that separation? Grace, of course. So grace takes away that punishment of hell. But in addition to that grace, we still have that attachment to the sin. And so how do we remove our attachment to this, the, the, this world? It's through the suffering of purgatory or an indulgence. So that takes away some time in purgatory, some punishment in purgatory. There are a couple of different ways to get an indulgence. It's not like a certificate that you earn. An indulgence is a practice that we do that by doing so removes that attachment to sin, removes that need for punishment. It can be acts of charity, And that's where the abuse came in for in the church's history, that those acts of charity aren't just gifts of money as a donation. Acts of charity meaning it could be a donation, but it could also be acts of service in, in, in serving the poor and serving others that are in need. Also, there's certain prayers that can be prayed with the conditions of receiving God's grace. Those prayers can can create for us an indulgence. It can, can give us an indulgence or a removal of that temporal punishment that is there as a result of sin. So it's important to know the difference here, that an indulgence is not a way to earn God's grace. Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose again to give us salvation, to remove that eternal punishment of hell. But that attachment to sin, when it's still there, it needs to be removed in order for us to be worthy of making through that punishment to be in heaven. That Christ's death takes away our punishment, but we need to remove that attachment to sin that is still there through acts of charity, through prayers, and with the help of God's grace, making it to, to heaven. Go make disciples. God bless.